Hello, I'm Bradley Sward, Assistant Professor of Computer Information Systems at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellyn, Illinois. And today we're going to take a look at unsigned integer storage sizes, or basically if I have an unsigned binary value sitting in front of me, what is the minimum and what is the maximum value that that number can store? So the little chart here on the left hand side pretty much shows us all of what assembly language has to offer when it comes to variables of different sizes. So we're going to be dealing with bytes, words, double words, and quad words. So we'll take a look at all four of these here in this situation. So of course the smallest representative number that we can use in assembly language is the byte, which is 8 bits of storage. And so again, just it's easy to think of this as just a series of switches, ons, offs, eight of them in successive order. So of course, if all of them were off, and all eight of them, of course the value would be a zero. However then, as we've discussed uh, in a previous video, if all of the eight bits are set, one, 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 or eight of them, in an unsigned manner, well, then the value would be 255. So 2 to the, you know, two to the 0 plus 2 to the 1st plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed plus dot 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 2 to the 7th power. So the answer is 255, or if you want to be you know, a little more mathy about it, the answer is 2 to the 8th power minus 1. Maybe you'll start to see a pattern here. So unsigned word, 16 bits of storage. If there were 16 switches and all of them were shut to the off position, the smallest value you could represent would be zero. But, however, if all of them were switched to the on condition, well, the largest value would be 65,535. Or, if you want to think of it, you know, all switches, 16 switches, 2 to the 16th power minus 1. Continuing on with variations of a theme, so here is unsigned double word, 32 bits of storage. So if all 32 of these switches were set to the off position, of course, just like everything else, the value would be zero. That's our smallest value. But if all of these bits are set to the on position, you pretty much get the largest unsigned int that we use in most programming languages these days. 4,294,697,295. You get the point. It was a little off there. But I like to just say 4.29 billion. That is the largest value that can be stored in 32 bits of storage in an unsigned manner. Here is the final variation, an unsigned quad word. 64 bits of storage, 8 bytes of storage. So without talking about it again, the minimum value is 0. And then if all 64 bits are set for this one, you get a heck of a large number right there, right? 2 to the 64th minus 1, 18 quintillion... 446 somethings and down to 615 at the end. A very large number and you know we can pretty much store anything we can imagine inside of there but of course mathematically speaking that's not even close to infinity all the numbers that we would need to represent if we were doing this if we were if we we're going to 100% be able to map real mathematics onto a silicon chip. So best we can do for now and one day we'll have 128 bit and I won't even want to know how big that is. That's going to be a really heck of a large number compared to this. So hopefully if you, you've noticed a formula when it comes to these kind of values that we've been generating for 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, and 64-bit unsigned integers. So my question for you, take a pause if you need to, what would be the smallest and largest unsigned integer values for something that's 20 bits of storage? The lowest value should be pretty obvious and very simple to calculate. All bits off gives me a value of zero. But maybe it's a little more difficult to think out what value would be the largest of 20 bits if all bits were set to the on position. So in this case, all bits set to the on is 2 to the 20th minus 1. And you could run it up on the calculator and you'll figure out that that's 1,048,575. So if I told you, or I asked you, how, you know, for n bits, what would be the smallest and largest values in an unsigned, for an unsigned value? Of course, the lowest number would be 0, and the largest number would be 2 to the n power minus 1. So that about covers everything for today's video. So as always, if you have any questions, please make sure you email me, come into my office hours, get a hold of me in some fashion so we can get those questions answered. 
So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.